Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hollow Knight. You might be thinking, this is a, uh, sh <laughs> the ghost of Tashima, and I'd be, you know, I would be right there with you. But I don't know how I'm going to play Ghost of Tashima because it is so big, and I have to figure that out more. Hollow Knight's huge, too, so we have plenty of time to figure that out. Um, I guess to start out, let me just kind of show you what's up. So I've currently played a lot of this game. 67 hours a ton i have 112 percent we'll get into more what that means much 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 later into the game i still have yet to complete everything in this game there is one challenge that is still beckoning my name and there's one that i'm currently working on right now those two things are the hardest parts of the game we're gonna try our best to complete them i'm gonna say this now for the main game it's gonna be 100 percent i'm gonna get everything that i can in my power but past a certain point, there's stuff I have yet to complete after 67 hours. If we don't get to them, we don't get to them. But it doesn't mean I'm going to stop fighting. I just want to put that out there now. Episode 1. Much, much, much later in the series, we are going to try whatever God Home is. And you'll see just how painful it is. But we're not going to start a game just yet. I'd like to look at the extras. Why? Simple. This game, in its base value, is just pure fun. It's like a match. It's a Metroid fanny game. Very fun. Well, over the past few years, it had unleashed, unleashed, unlocked. Uh, that's not the right word. Basically, updated with four different DLCs, more or less: Hidden Dreams, The Grim Troop, Lifeblood, and Godmaster. If you take a look. You know, you get more bosses, you get new tracks, all that fun stuff. The Grim Choop, new bosses, new charms, and we might not know what any of these things are, but we're going to see. Now, why am I all telling you this now? So I don't have to tell you later. This game is a very long game. It can be. So, stick around for the wide. Wide? Wow. Didn't know I could say with a W. Oh, yeah, stick around for the ride. You can watch it for however long you want or however short you want. It's not like many people watch these videos anyways. I'm not going to stop you. I just have it for fun. Either way, I think I've stopped for enough time. We're going to start in... I'm feeling number four. To give you an idea of what these classic modes are, you start with classic mode until you beat the game. Once you beat the game, you unlock steel soul mode and you unlock god seeker mode. I believe. I believe that's when you unlock it. Uh, I'll give you more insight as to what these modes are later. But uh, we're, for right now, we're going to start with Classic Mode. I mean, it's it's only right. It's the classic game. Nothing different about it. In the wilds, but beyond, they, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you meet the challenge met. On the palest watch you taught, we changed. Based instincts were redeemed. A word you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. From Elegy for Hollow Nest by Mormon the Teacher. Monoman the Teacher. Mormon. I've never actually watched this cutscene. <laughs> I've always skipped right past it. Bye. Oh, wow, I forgot that it vibrated, too. 
And just like that, we begin. This game is very, very big. Uh, but also, there isn't much um, cutscenes. There's a few. There is a few, but there's not much. Um, I actually, uh, to give you an idea, I when I bought this game, it took me a month and a half before I fully played it. I couldn't get into it for a while because I'm terrible at it. Um, but, you know, I kept going at this game for, like, forever. And then one day it just kind of stuck with me, and I played through it a ton. I've actually played through this game as of right now. This will be the the 1.5 attempt. Uh, I actually own this game on two different platforms. I own it here on my PS4, and I own it on my PC. I have beaten the game every sort of way here, except for, you know, one that I'm still working on. On here, on um, PC, I'm about, give or take, 30% done with the game and i've spent 10 hours already so that's fun but yeah it's a nice met that is metroidvania game this game i know i have said this a bunch it is huge um not that that's not what i wanted this as you can see we have a lot to fill up here um and it's all gonna come with time Trust me, a lot of these episodes are not going to be filled with what's happening in the game, but rather a lot of just talking, which is fine. I like that. Hmm. And we take another fall. He must. His legs have to be hurting. Like, I, I don't... I don't understand how they can't be, frankly. Dirk Mouth, the fading town. What's up, old man? Oh, there, traveler. I am afraid that there's only one me left to offer welcome. Only me. Our town's fallen quite, you see. Quiet. I can't read. The readers, re the other, uh, the reader. Wow, I really can't read. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, to that, the cabins below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws forth into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you too speak your dreams down there. Well, watch out. It's the sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams are such great things after all. Aren't such great things after all. Well said, old man. Don't expect me to read everybody's everything. I don't plan on it, personally. I don't do it anyways. So, <laughs> you know, it's fun actually coming back into this game after playing it. You actually, by the end of the game, you have so many powers. And we just don't now. So, when I, I first start playing every time, I'm, like, so ready to just do all the things that I've been able to do and, like, run as fast as possible. So that's fun. So if you run directly to the right over here. Walk up here. Hi, what's up? Hello. Hello there. I'd like more to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but a strong look about you. I'm cool. I have something of obsession with an uncharted places. The ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries. And one of them is the most intriguing of them all. Standing right before us. A great stone egg lined in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off its unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvelous lie even deeper below us. I haven't mean to talk to you. For so long I felt I've drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are rolled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. And I wonder what could have brought it all about. 
Bye. And uh, there's nothing over here. Nothing. Remember this room. It's uh, very important. It is. Not much happens with this room, but something very important will happen with this room. But it doesn't gonna it's not gonna do us much help now. Yeah. I love having first episodes of things because I realize I'm so boring. <laughs> first episodes because I have to describe everything and I'm terrible at describing things. Um, okay, so to kind of give you an idea of what's going on on the screen at all times, top left corner, those five little heads are our health. That's pretty obvious for the most part. Um, that little circle with the two eyes. So basically that is our health meter that allows us to heal. Not our soul meter it allows us to heal. Um, but also it allows us to do like special uh, moves that we'll unlock later in the game, which is very fun. They do a lot of damage and they're wonderful. That little currency I'm picking up is, well, exactly that, currency. It's not the only currency, but it's the only one that's marked. You want to come down here, sir? No, he doesn't. Oh, now you do. We can, um, if you ever played Shovel Knight, you can actually bounce as similar to that. That's real fun stuff here. Hello? Sir? Can I talk to you? No. He seems sad. A lot of holes here. I wonder where all his friends have gone. Well, I know. Yeah, he's a he's a fun character. And what is to the left over here? Hello, good sir. I can't fight you. Well, I guess I'll just walk over here. So, being that this game is a Metroidvania game, you kind of have to figure out where you can and can't go. Of course, once you get far enough in the game, it's like basically where can't I, like, <laughs> where can I go that I haven't already been? Um, luckily for us, we have a map for those kind of things, but this game is just full of areas and rooms that you're going to explore and be like, huh, that was somewhat useless, or huh, nice. Trust me, there are rooms that still surprise me that I have gone through plenty of times. And it's crazy. Huh. Is that a little grub boy in a pot? Why I, I feel like I, I take on the approach of like Chugga Conroy for these first episodes. I don't know if you've seen Chugga Conroy, but he's a very informative Let's Player. Like, he only plays Nintendo games, and I've brought him up multiple times on the channel before, but he's, like, the guy that I watch for, like, Let's Plays like this. And I always take these first episodes so like him, and I don't know why. The rest of the episodes, I'm just chilling. But for some reason, the first episode of every series I've do, I do, it's always, like, hmm, inform informative. I don't think I'll ever understand why, but... I'm sure one day I will. And uh, we don't have a map, so we're kind of just chilling right now. We're trying to figure out exactly where we want to go, and that's fun. We don't know what these enemies are. Well, I do, but you guys don't know what these enemies are and the pain of trying to get them all. We're all going to explore new areas. Basically, this game, the best I play, the best thing I can think about it is think of it as a giant ant hill. There's just okay. Well, I forgot about. Ugh. There's just nooks and crannies everywhere, and it's our job to find them. That was like a little mini boss. So that was our first grub. That's what they're called. So you know how we just saw that old, like, caterpillar-looking thing that was crying in the big, like, nest area? Yeah, there are collectibles based with that him. I don't think he ever asked you about it until you've collected one or have gotten far enough in the game, but he is. Basically, I think there's, like, 68 or something grubs. I don't know the exact number, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's, like, a high number. Um, if you collect them all... He gives you stuff, and he gives you a really nice charm, which 
I'll explain later. And it's, it's like amazing. Do I recommend getting it? Of course. How early? Eh, it's up to you. They're kind of sp sprung about everywhere. And that's just kind of how life is. And as you probably already noticed, we've already backtracked. Like I said, this game is like a giant anthill. There's nook and crannies everywhere and things just kind of attach to each other. And that's how life is. I like this game a lot because you can go so many ways and you could still end up somewhere that you've already been. Um, I've played this game and you can play this game no matter how, however you want. If you replay this game, you will not go to the same path that you did before. How do I know that? Because I've done exactly that. I know that I haven't gone through certain paths before. And here we are. Like, it's honestly. Hmm. Oh, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins. Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way again is a pleasure like no other. Well, we're quite exquisitely lucky, you, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade, and I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my my work so far? Yes, yes, please. I would appreciate that. Acquired map. Hold that one to review the map, and a detailed map of the hollow nest in the map pane of the inventory. A map can be a useful thing, but alone won't show you where you are. If you're not the head of your, if you're not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass for my right wife, Iselda. She's not op she's now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She even sells some of my old maps from time to time. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always excited to see me. Well, now that we have a map, we can see everywhere we can explore. Better yet, we come over here, we can see nothing. Basically, it kind of shows us everywhere we have explored. But not yet. That will come later. How much later? You have to see for yourself. But as you can see, in the middle of everything, there's a big man. That is a place we must go. When? I don't know. How about we save this for next episode? I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.